Live tonight in Richardson, Aaron Jones has spent the evening there. Crews have been really hard at work, it sounds like. They have, Doug, and they've been moving quickly, working to restore the power to neighborhoods like this one. You can see it's completely in the dark. We asked about how long it will take to fully restore power to DFW, and they say it will likely take days. They're asking people for patience. When the storm started kicking up this morning, I knew immediately that this was more extreme than anything we'd, we'd experienced in this house before. Richardson homeowner Megan Torney quickly telling her family to get in their safe space. We say it's the most scared that I've been in in a storm before. The wind was unlike anything I'd ever heard before. The fast moving severe storm brought down several mature trees in her neighborhood. As cleanup begins, homeowners are also dealing with the headache of not having power. Someone said tonight it could come back on. Someone's also said two days from now it could come back on. So I don't know. Encore restoration crews are working across DFW, at one point dealing with more than 600,000 outages, focusing first on critical facilities before moving to more isolated outages. There's, we're looking at complete reconstruction for parts of our area. Uh, I do want to say that we have already requested assistance from utilities across Texas. We are also calling in uh, crews potentially from out of state. We've also uh, made contact with, with those mutual assistance resources. Garland Power and Light says it's making progress on damaged feeder lines that serve hundreds of customers. Then we'll begin restoring power within neighborhoods. This unfortunately will be a multi-day power outage situation, similar to the one that you saw in Harris County and Houston. Dallas County Judge Clay Jenkins has signed a disaster declaration for Dallas County, emphasizing the importance of having a plan. Yeah, I think we're pretty comfortable weathering out for at least a couple of days. If it gets going longer than that, we might all get in the car and drive up to my folks place in Iowa. Um, but I, th I think we'll try and rough it for a few days. And that's what a lot of homeowners told us here in Richardson. They say they'll be OK for a couple of days after that. They'll just have to see where they go next. But they are thankful for the rec centers and the libraries that are in the area serving as cooling stations. And they can also charge their phones. They're thankful that they have that resource if they need it. Reporting live in Richardson, Aaron Jones, CBS News, Texas. And Aaron, we thank you. And we'd be remiss if we didn't say welcome back. Maternity leave and the birth of that beautiful baby girl. So good to see you.